We discussed Venn diagrams within the grade 10 CAP syllabus on probability. In grade 11, we're going to do more Venn diagrams. But in grade 10, you will remember that our focus was most of the time on Venn diagrams with two events. In grade 11, we now want to expand it to three events. The principle stays the same. The problems are just slightly more advanced than in grade 10. Let's look at the following problem. A group of 80 athletes entered the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 400 meter sprints as follows. Six entered all three events. Now you must already think where you will put that, all three events. 21 entered none of the events. So where do you think must that go? 10 entered the 100 and the 200. You will remember that and we spoke about in grade 10. 11 entered the 200 and the 400. Of the 21 who entered the 100, 10 entered nothing else. 27 entered the 400. Now, it's obvious we can't remember all of this, but let's just read the first question. The first question says, represent the above situation using a Venn diagram. So the first thing we need to do is we need to draw a Venn diagram. And because there's such a lot of information given to us, we need to start do it step by step. Remember, it was given to us that there are 80 athletes. So this 80 represents our sample space. So that is where we will start. Let's now draw the Venn diagram. It is very clear from this question that there are three events. Remember, they spoke about the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 400 meter. The three, uh, in, in, in athletics, the three sprints that we get. So we're now going to draw the sample space, our S, which we know is 80. Remember, in our question, they told us it is about 80 athletes. That is the total number. So our sample space, very important to remember, 80. We may need it later. We're now going to draw three events and not two like we used to. And the three events, we're going to draw them of this kind because we want to know where all of three of them are in common. This one we're going to call the 100 meter, this one the 200 meter, and this one the 400 meter. So we now need to complete this by looking at the information given to us. Remember, three events, our sample space, total of 80, which we may need later. Let's now go back and just quickly read again what else was given to us. The first sentence, a group of 80 athletes entered the 100, 200, 400 sprints. That's now our three events. The 80, like we said, the sample space. What is now the first one? The first one given to us is the six. Six entered all three events. Now, it's very important maybe to indicate that this one we're going to do so that you don't leave out one of them. This six, where do you think will this go? Let's look at our Venn diagram and let's find out where we need to put the six. So, where do you think we need to put the six in this Venn diagram? They say six athletes entered all three events. So that means the 100, 200, and the 400. And I hope you agree with me that the six will go right in the middle. Now, it's very important to remember this in, in Venn diagrams, that we always start with the middle one, the one where all three ev events take place. And this was given to us as six. The next one that we would like to fill in are these ones. So that is the second in line, if I may call it like that. So we always would like to complete the middle, then the next group, there are three of them, and then we would like to do the outer three. And then we also would like to know if there's maybe anything on the outside. So let's go back to the question and look at 
the next information. This one we completed already. Six entered all three events, so let's look at the next one. 21 entered none of the three events. 21, none of the three. Where do you think must this one go? Let's quickly look at the Venn diagram. 21 entered none of the three events. No one. So where do you think in the Venn diagram we need to put the 21? And I hope you are happy if I put it on the outside because it can't be here, here, or there because they didn't enter any one of these three spins. Let's now look at the next one. The 21 we've done already, so I'm going to tick that one. So let's look at the next one. The next one say 10 entered the 100 and the 200. Now 100 and 200, you will remember from grade 10, that is where both of them are. So 10 entered 100 and 200. Let's go back to the Venn diagram and see where this must be. Now, they say 10 entered the 100 and the 200. Now when we look at the Venn diagram, we've got 100, 200 and 400. Where is 100 and 200? And that is important to look at those two events and ignore the 400 for the moment and we look at these two and we want to know where are both of them. Remember we said the keyword both, the and. So the and is this whole part here. That is the and between 100 and 200. Now if I look at this and part between 100 and 200, which is this part, there are six already. Remember they say there must be 10. So many students make the mistake to put the 10 now up there. But then this and will be 10 plus 6, which is 16. So you can't put the 10 there. You must look at the whole part where 100 and 200 is, and the total must be 10. So if we have 6 already, you're happy that that must be 4. Because 4 plus 6 gives us the 10, and that is the and between the 100 and the 200. Let's look at the next one. Now, the 10 we finished. We look at the following. 11 entered the 200 and the 400. You will notice that this is similar to the previous one. The previous one was 10 entered the 100 and the 200. Now it's the 200 and the 400. So, so the both between 200 and 400 must be 11. Let's fill that in on our Venn diagram. Now. We know that 11 entered 200 and 400. So 200 and 400 must be 11. Similar to what we just did, this part must be 11. We have 6 already, so what must that one be? That one will be 5 because together they need to be 11. Right, the 11 we finished. So now the next one says, of the 21 who entered the 100. So what you need to understand is that this 21 is the total number of athletes who entered the 100 meters. 10 entered nothing else. So these 10 entered only, only the 100. But in total, the 121 entered. So let's now go back to our Venn diagram. In this one, they told us that 21 athletes entered the 100 meters. So the total that we've got in the 100 must be 21. Now, you will agree with me, there are two parts that we don't know yet. So we can't use the 21 at the moment. The rest of the sentence was that 10 entered the 100 only. Now, the moment that we have 100 only, you will agree with me, it is that particular part. Now, they told us that 10 entered the 100 only. Remember, this, these four was 100 and 200. This six, all three. So this 10, 100 only. 
The, this part will be 200 only. This part will be 400 only. So they told us about the 10, the 100 only. But they also said that 21 entered the 100 meters. So if I look at 100 meters as a total, because remember we said that we would like this one, we now will be able to find this one. Because 4 plus 6 will be 10, plus that 10 is 20. And they told us 21 athletes entered the 100, so therefore this one must be 1. So if you now look at the 100, it adds up to 21 athletes. So now we still need to find this 400 only and the 200 only. So let's go back to our problem. All right, this one we finished. So now we look at this last part of the information. 27 entered the 400 meters. Now, if they say 27 entered the 400, you will agree with me that this is the total number. It's not 400 only. It's 27 entered the 400. Let's go back to the Venn diagram. Our problem said that 27 athletes entered the 400 meters. Now, this part is 400 only. If we say the 400 meter, then we refer to the whole part of the 400 meter. So this plus that, plus that, plus this one that we don't know must be 27. So what do you think will this be? So we will take 5 plus 6, which is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. We know the total is 27, and 27 minus 12 leaves you with 15. So that 400 only will be 15. So if we double check, 15 plus 5 is 20, plus 6 plus 1 gives us the 27 athletes that entered the 400 meters. Now, we use now all the information given to us in the question. The first part of the question was to complete this Venn diagram. We almost done the whole part of it. So this was our A part of the question, to complete the Venn diagram. Now, we've got everything except for this one. Now, how are we going to find that part? That is now the 200 only. They didn't say anything about it. But please remember, we said in the beginning, the sample space is 80. So if there's one of these parts that we don't know, but we know the total, I think you already know how to answer this one. So how will we find this part? We will say 80, subtract, and then we're going to add all of these that we now know already. So we will start, let's start from the 100 meter. We have 10 plus the 1, plus the 6, plus the 4, if I take those. And you remember they told us that was 21. And if you add it, we can just add them already. That's 21. We need to add the 5 that we've got over here. We add the 15. Please don't make the mistake in adding them twice. You only add this, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one. And please don't forget the ones outside. And that is the 21. Now, if you add all those numbers, which is not difficult to do, you subtract it from 80, you will get an answer of 18. You can check if that is correct. So this one that we don't know is 18. And now our Venn diagram is finished. So now we have still two questions to answer. So let's look at the B part of this question.